The Elgato Cam Link has reigned supreme for years as the go-to capture card, but it surprises many budget-oriented streamers hesitant to pull the trigger on it and look for other, cheaper options. In comes EVGA to take a piece of the capture card pie from the mighty peripheral titan. Can they do it? What is happening everyone? Maddie B here again with the beers and the captured beats because today we are talking about this. The EVGA XR1 Lite capture card. But before that, like always, you can check out this card in action on our weekly stream every Sunday, noon Pacific. Twitch.tv slash beers and beats PDX. So this here is the EVGA XR1 Lite capture card. It was released just about a month ago to directly compete with the famous Elgato Camlink 4K. So what is a capture card, you may be asking? Basically, a capture card takes the signal from one device and brings it over to your computer. It's how streamers get their console footage or use a real camera instead of a webcam. In my case, I'm using it to capture the signal from my Sony A6000 here hey. and send it right into my PC. Yeah, buddy. But what makes this new entry into the capture card space exciting? Does it have any drawbacks and should you buy it? Well, let's have a look and find out. The EVGA XR1 Lite comes in at an astonishing $69. That is almost half the price of the Elgato Camlink 4K. The unit features HDMI input and pass-through with up to 108060 and 4K30. It can capture up to 108060 and supports the NV12 and YUI2 formats. The box itself is 100mm by 73 by 15.6 with a weight of 75 grams. If you need that in Freedom Units, you can convert it yourself because that system is stupid and you're on your own. So the XR1 sounds incredible, right? Well. I thought so, and that's why I bought it. It does exactly what I need. It does 108060, which is the max output of my camera, and more importantly, it was only $70. Now it does have its drawbacks. If you want to capture in 4K60, no dice. No dice. If you want to pass through 4K60, no dice. No dice. But other than that, compared to the $120 Elgato Camlink 4K and the $100 Avermedia Cap 4K, this is a steal especially for something that does exactly what the others do, and in the case of the Camlink, it does even more. So should you buy it? Well, if you're happy with only having 108060 or 4K30, and you're like me and you want inexpensive but not cheap, this is perfect and I would absolutely recommend it. I've been using it for a few weeks now and I have no complaints so far. The only issue I've had is that when I plugged it in, it changed all my audio settings to my built-in monitor microphone instead of the old 750 here. But let me know what you think. Are you considering getting the XR1 Lite? Did you buy it and you love it? Did you buy it and you hate it? Do you have just any other thoughts? Let me know down below. But always, big ups to our patrons, Dave C, Medic, and Jason Story. If you want to find out how you can become a patron or just check out the links for all the other social, you can find those down below. Thanks for watching. Peace. Jesus. It's time to shoot B-roll.